Chagath's rule states that in any sample of DNA, the amount of adenine is always equal to that of thiamine, and the amount of cytosine is always equal to that of guanine. Not only that, but the ratio of adenine plus thiamine and cytosine plus guanine was consistent in any given species, but varied between species. Complementary base pairing requires the DNA polynucleotide chains to run in anti-parallel directions. So we know that Chargaff's rule of complementary base pairing dictates that a purine, that two-ringed base, must always pair with a pyrimidine, a single-ringed base. In addition, Chargaff's work also informed us that the percent of the nitrogenous base thiamine was always equal to that of the nitrogenous base adenine, and of course that the percent of cytosine was always equal to that of guanine. In order for the rungs of the DNA ladder to be of equal distance, it stands to reason that a purine and a pyrimidine must make up each rung of the ladder, and of course that the percentage of A and T and G and C being equal to each other informs us of those base pairing rules. Specifically, adenine, a purine, will always bond with thiamine, a pyrimidine. Guanine, a purine, will always bond with cytosine, a pyrimidine. So, if a section of DNA was analyzed and showed that 28% of the section was made up of thiamine, one can easily work out the percentage composition of all the other nitrogenous bases in this section of DNA. Since thiamine equals 28%, adenine must also equal 28%, giving a total of 56% for adenine and thiamine combined. Therefore, cytosine and guanine would make up the remaining 44% of the DNA section in question. Meaning, of course, that cytosine equals 22% and guanine also equals 22%.